Right, this might be quite hard to see, but I can just see a little bit of a flicker. That um, is in the riser tube. I've got a piece of uh, temperature glass on the top, which we took a little time to make. Um, so that that's coming up right to the top. The flames are coming up to this point here which is pretty good for when you consider where it's coming from. So this is just the upgrade. Um, went and put a went and marshal full and put a new pump in. Oh that was terrible, have to buy a new pump. And then over there, just zoom in, I've blanked off part of the uh, slot that was there. So I've put an 85 mil piece in the slot, so you've got a like a 12 mil hole each end now. Uh, that's what I've done. We'll just go around the front. Excuse the wobbly bit. We're just moving around. Uh, all right. Next upgrade on the front there. I've used a piece of high temperature glass. It's 700 degrees that glass takes. Um, and what I did bought a window and cut it in half and that gave me exactly what I wanted for my fire and to cut that what I did to make it easy for you if you want to cut some uh, I sprayed it with three and one oil and then I used a diamond cutter across it as you'd cut a normal piece of glass and it came out perfect uh, the other upgrade I did was here on the hopper That was there was three inch and I've changed that now to four inch which is there and what I did is this piece I cut a piece of four inch box in four pieces and then welded up the gaps so that's what I've done there um, and as you can hear it's percolating quite nicely uh, there was a I went indoors and nicked her oven temperature gauge <laughs> So I've stuck it on there just for a bit of fun and uh, it's totally rubbish as usual. Uh, I don't think you can see it. Oh, that's rubbish. It's not focusing on that. There we are. Oh, it's decided to focus now. There we are. I nicked her one out of her oven. <laughs> um, but it ain't no better than the others. Uh, it's still cheap nasty um, doesn't work that well but it's giving you around about 350 so Fahrenheit that is and 150 just over uh, centigrade so there we are and that is there but it's only been a light for oh, what's that oh 10 minutes so there we are that's not bad temperature for 10 minutes and uh, I don't know if we can see that but yes we can and you can see just down in the slot there flame going doesn't want to focus too well does it come on sort yourself out come on try to get it to focus there we are so you've ended up with a 12 mil slot each end and a little little hole each end um, and the reason for that was I was getting a little bit of smoke but uh, other than that, uh, it's running quite nicely. It was nice to have the uh, lump of glass on the front, so you could see in there. I've got a, about 15 mil gap under the door at the moment, um, but there we are. That was that's what I did. And uh, once you weren't looking, we nicked the bottle opener. It makes a great handle, the bottle opener. So I was well pleased with that. You have to have a bottle opener to make the door handle. <laughs> um, that's Dave. Uh, we're signing off now. So we'll catch you on the flip side. Don't forget, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, subscribe. You will find some more interesting things later on in the year. Um, we've also, uh, uh, want to leave me any messages, leave them on the bottom, comments. Um, and we will get back to you. I've had a few people leave me comments and uh, I've had to uh, sort their fires out because they're building these fires themselves now.
because they know all the dimensions. And uh, there we are. Uh, that's, that's the upgrades I've done at the moment. There will be more to follow. But uh, the reason for the window at the back in the riser was that uh, I wanted to have a look in there to see if there was any sooty bits in there. And when I clean, went to look to clean it out, it was absolutely clean. So I was well pleased. And so that's working well. And you, when you consider there's only that little burn at the front, it's going all the way up that riser and it's, it's working really good. So I'm, I'm well happy with that. Um, this is Dave signing off. We'll catch you all later. Bye bye.